The distributive property is also known as the distributive property of multiplication over addition. And you can see an example of it here. We have multiplication and addition being involved. Now, you might guess from the name that the distributive property has something to do with things being distributed. To give an example, here we have some puppies. Everybody loves puppies. Now let's say we had three puppies and we wanted to distribute those three puppies to each of these three children. We take one puppy and give it to this kid and one puppy and give it to this kid and one puppy and give it to this young lady right here. So now we have distributed our three puppies to these different people. The distributive property works in a very similar way. We can see here we have the five being multiplied by two plus three and notice that we have parentheses around these which means if we were following PEMDAS we would use these first. Two plus three is five and then multiply that by five and we would get 25. The distributive property says listen we can write this in a different way. If we're saying five times two plus three in parentheses we can also write that by distributing the five to each one of these numbers. So we can distribute the five, five times two, and that would be here. And then we can bring our addition down right here, bring it over here, and then we'll take it as five times three, which leaves us this over here. Five times two plus five times three. If you'll notice, we distributed our five to each one of those numbers. We simply pass it off just like we did a puppy over to these two numbers. So which of these are examples of the distributive property? Well here we have one that is 2 times 3 plus 5 and that's equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5. Well it looks kind of similar but we did not distribute our 2. We didn't multiply our 2 by anything. So this is not an example of the distributive property. We would have had to have had 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5. And that would have been an example of the distributive property. The next example is letter B. 3 times 5 plus 6 is equal to 15 plus 18. Is that an example of the distributive property? Well, if we were to write this out as 3 times 5 plus 3 times 6, what would we get? We would get 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So yes, this is an example of the distributive property. Here's another one. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. We have parentheses, don't we? I mean, we have the same parentheses we had up here. Doesn't that mean this is the distributive property? No, it doesn't. We're not distributing anything because there's no multiplication involved. This is addition and so is this. This is not an example of the distributive property. Well, how about this last one? We're starting off with 8 plus 12 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 3. Are we distributing anything? Yes. On this side, we have 4 being multiplied by 2 plus 3. So we can distribute our 4 to both of these, 4 times 2 and 4 times 3. So that would give us 4 times 2 plus 4 times 3. And that would give us 8 plus 12, which is the same as this over here. So we have used the distributive property. This is an example of the distributive property.